Many Erie County farmers are using more temporary agricultural workers, known as H-2A workers. They're foreign employees willing to do the work domestic workers are apparently not. And with the growing season here, farmers are experiencing a challenge getting people to work for them. Jocelyn Person visited with a few local farmers. She joins us now in the control room with more on this. Sean, well, the, we're told that these workers are needed in order to help advance the process of putting food on your table. Tried to hold our own with what we could find around Erie, and uh, um, we just were getting our, our labor pool is just smaller and smaller all the time. And last year was just miserable. We just had a terrible time trying to get our strawberries picked. It's been a challenge for many farmers in Erie County to hire workers to collect strawberries and all other kinds of fruits and vegetables. But some farmers, like John Mason, owner of Mason Farms, won't have too much of a struggle because he's using Plan B, hiring temporary agricultural foreign workers. Workers, also known as H2A. Mason says the temporary employment of foreign workers has been around for years. Now their role is to provide seasonal agricultural farm labor. He says hiring local residents continues to be an issue, so hiring H2A workers helps him get the work done. I get yelled at when people know that we have Mexicans working for us, that they say, uh, you know, you're stealing American jobs. Now we're filling jobs that Americans refuse to work at anymore. With two 200 acres to care for, Mason says he'll have 19 workers to do farm work, but this July, 14 of them are leaving. Some farmers say that hard labor is needed to get food to the table. If there's no one to work the farms, there's no one to, to get the food to market, and uh, everybody would be in trouble. Havigan is in need of at least 15 workers. He says he hopes many understand the importance of farmers needing a hand. Mason also says that he takes care of his workers by placing them in his childhood home. And he also says that they'll be here for a temporary time. It just depends on the contract that he has with the government. Sean, back to you. Right, Jocelyn Person in the control room tonight. Thanks, Jocelyn.